Hello friends, this video on heat part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are heat and cold, temperature, measurement of temperature, thermometer, heat transfer where we'll talk about conduction, convection and radiation, clothes in summer and winter. So we are going to learn about heat. I'm sure all of you are aware of the literal meaning of heat. Now, from where do we start discussing it? Let's think of the situation when somebody is down with fever. If sometimes you also fall ill, you also have fever. What happens when you are down with fever? When you touch your body, you feel that your body is quite hot than normal, right? So. How do you know that your body is hot? How do you feel that your body is hot? When you touch your body, you can sense that it is hot. How do you feel when you touch a hot cup of coffee or a hot cup of milk or a hot cup of, cup of tea? So as soon as you touch it, if it is extremely hot, sometimes it also happens that you try to grab it because you want to drink it desperately. But since it is so hot, you immediately take your hand back. Why? Because of that hotness, you could feel, you could sense the heat which is coming out of that cup of coffee. On the contrary, what happens when you touch an ice cream? Do you feel hot? No. But do you feel comfortable touching the ice cream directly with both your palms? Not really. In that case also you take your hand back because the ice cream is too cold. It is freezing. During winters, what happens? During winters, do you think that your body is very hot? Not really. So until and unless you wear proper woolen clothes or you cover yourself up with a blanket, then you become warm. But otherwise, you can actually feel that your body is getting cold. Why? Because it is all very cool in the surrounding. So this difference, why does this difference arise between a hot cup of coffee and an ice cream? And where is the difference? The difference is in the hotness. Something is very hot, something is less hot, something is very cold. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about this heat and cold. What causes substances to be hot? What causes them to be cold? How do we measure their hotness or coldness? Now, these were the two extreme situations. In the first situation, it is very hot. In the second situation, it is very cold. Now, if you try to compare it with a situation which is like the normal situation, like when you are healthy, you are neither suffering from fever nor it is very cold. So, in that case, your body temperature is normal. That is, it is neither very hot nor very cold. So, that means your, temp your body temperature or your body can be hot your body can be hotter, your body can be cold, your body can be very cold. So you see the range of hotness can be different. Again, in a similar way, if you have a glass of plain water, which is just kept on the table at room temperature, it, it was neither kept in the refrigerator nor it is like very hot. So in that case, the temperature again is neither very hot nor too cold. So. What we have to analyze in this lesson is how do we describe how hot or how cold an object is? Because if I say that this cup of coffee is what we call as hot. So now I would say this ice cream is what we call as cold. Then what will we call this glass of water? So how do we describe which particular object is how much hot and which particular object is how much cold? So how hot or cold an object is? So that is the next question. So if you compare these three things, the hot coffee cup, the glass of water at room temperature and the ice cream, how can we precisely tell the hotness of each? Now we might say in a random way, we might say that this cup of coffee is the hottest and the ice cream is the coldest. And this glass of water is intermediate between the two. Now, does that mean that these are the only three uh, things which define hotness of an object? So let us assume 
that we say that okay this is the hottest of the three that this is the coldest of the three and this is like intermediate this is neither as hot as the cup of coffee nor as cold as the ice cream now what if i introduce a vessel with boiling water so this vessel that the temperature of this vessel is even more than that of this cup of coffee so it is even hotter than what we had earlier described as hottest so now how do we describe the hotness of this vessel containing boiling hot water because now it is even hotter than this cup of coffee correct so the question is how do we deal with such situations because there is no specific limit of how hot an object can be or how cold an object can be so how do we measure the hotness or the coldness of an object so let us take a general situation which happens to us in day to day life and in that case we actually try to measure the hotness of the object let's say that we are down with fever and normally what happens when you are down with fever normally like if it has been a couple of hours that your body is getting hot so as soon as your mom touches your body she can feel that the body is hot so she can sense that you are having fever but how will she know precisely that how hot is your body so for that purpose what does she do she makes use of a thermometer so she takes a thermometer she places it inside your mouth just below your tongue keeps it there for some time and then she measures your temperature so thermometer is a device which helps to measure how hot your body is so what does this thermometer measure the thermometer measures how hot the body is now if you try to measure the hotness of your body when you are not ill when you are healthy so what do you see that time that time the temperature of the body is less so in this case in a normal situation the temperature is less but when you are suffering from fever the temperature is more so basically what is the thermometer doing thermometer is trying to measure how hot your body is now you would have often heard your mom saying that okay uh, he has a fever of 101 degree or 102 degree or 103 degree so so the more the temperature is so the more severe it is so the more fever you have but when it is like normal so that time how much the temperature would be somewhere around 98 degrees right so what is this 98 degree 100 degree 101 degree what are these these are temperatures and what is temperature temperature is something that is being measured by this thermometer so this is how your thermometer looks like and what is it measuring it is measuring nothing but temperature so now we are going to talk about temperature because temperature is something which actually tells us how hot an object is thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates Thank you once again.